yesterday I purchased a wireless backup camera made by VR3. They're going for the going rate for it is about sixty dollars at Pet Boys after a twenty dollar mail rebate. I mounted it to the top two bolts of my license plate. And with my two thousand nine Honda Accord, I can just unscrew this piece over here and run the cable through it. The camera pivots so I can adjust the viewing angle. I wasn't able to, to, to slide the, the core through completely because of this thing right here. I guess this is a video out. So I had to splice the cable, the power cable, slide half of it through, and then tape it back up. Next I ran the, the power cable along the side here. Then I connected it to the backup light. So every time my car is in reverse mode, it will send power to the, to the uh, wireless camera. I used a scotch lock, the blue and the red. I used a scotch lock to connect the two cables. The, cable, the power cable from the camera and also the power cable from the backup light. This way I, I, did, not, I did not need to do any cutting or soldering. It was very easy to use. Once I set the car in reverse mode, the wire signal from the back sends it to the monitor in the front. This is for the brightness. This is to rotate the image. This is the power. And I believe this is the contrast or color. To the right side is the power adapter. Left side is the video out in case you want to connect it to an existing monitor. It's powered by the 12 volt power adapter. It does come with a dash mount or a vent mount, but I haven't decided which one I plan to use for my car. The whole installation process took about a half an hour, a little more than half an hour. It, it, it'll probably take you less time, but since I have a new car, I was quite careful not to damage it or scratch it. And that's the uh, how I installed a VR3 wireless backup camera.